we all await Mashiach. A story in Tov Shin Lamed Vov, which is 1976. In 1976, we were three years after the Yom Kippur War. 1976, a little bit before I made Shuvah. I made Shuvah in 1982, six years before I made Shuvah. But uh, it was very much an upheaval in, in Israel. The government was an upheaval. We're coming off a war, and it was a war that really slapped Israel's face and almost did not make it through that war. That was the Yom Kippur War in 1973. And the Siddiquim were talking, Mashiach is on the way, Mashiach is on the way, Mashiach is in it. People are showing proof from Gomorrah's and proof from, from the Zohar, proof here, 1976, 1976, Tavshin Lam and Vav, Tavshin so the Kloisenberger Rebbe, the holy Kloisenberger Rebbe, the holy Kloisenberger Rebbe lost a wife and 11 children in the Holocaust. And he's your site. Do you remember, I said a lesson about right here, a lesson about the Kloisenberger Rebbe, one of my heroes. And the Kloisenberger Rebbe came after the Holocaust and he rebuilt his life, the wife and seven children, the current sons of Rebbe and Eretz Yisrael and the Kloisenberger Rebbe in New York, their sons. And he built an orphanage and he built Kirat Sons in the Tanya and he built a hospital and he did and he built a yeshiva. If they did, they did, they did, they did. This is one of the heroic stories, one of the biggest tzaddikim of recent generations. There's another tremendous tzaddik of recent generations. I mentioned Imre Amos. Imre's oldest son was called the Beis Yisroel, Rabbi Yisroel of Gore. The Beis Yisroel was Kodesh Kodeshim, it was Holy of Holies, Holy of Holies and all the tremendous of the respect. So the Kloisenberger Rebbe, he went to see the Beis Yisrael and went to see Rebbe, what do you think? Uh, all this, the Bonim, the people are talking about the Kabbalim, Kabbalists, they're talking about Mashiach, Mashiach, Mashiach will come this year. So the Beis Yisrael of course says, in the name of his great grandfather, which was the Chidushe Harim, the Chidushe Harim, Yitzhak Meir, he's the head of the Gera dynasty. And he told the Kloisenberg Rebbe in the name of his great grandfather, he says, the Chidushe Harim says like this, he who talks doesn't know, and he who knows doesn't talk. And that's what we say about Mashiach. The people that are, the, the, the Gomorrah itself says in many places, the nine different places, another six places in the Midrash, and is a curse for people that try and second guess Mashiach. Is it come here? Is it come there? But why? When he doesn't come, people get sorely disappointed and sometimes they go way down. Rather than getting stronger, they get weaker. So it says, That the intestines of those who try and second guess and predict Mashiach when he's going to come, they should turn over. This is a, a curse from the Gomorrah. And this is what the Beis Yisrael told the Kloisenberger Rebbe. For a person that talks about when Mashiach is going to come, he doesn't know. And a person that knows when Mashiach is going to come, he doesn't talk. He doesn't talk. So we do one new thing. We have in our 12th of our 13 principles of faith, I would believe with full and complete belief that Mashiach is going to come. And even though he may tarry, a hakelo called Yom Shifu. Even though I may tarry, I'm going to wait for him when every day is the same, whenever he comes. And may we soon see Mashiach and rebuilding of our whole temple and tremendous divine abundance and every blessing for all our people, wherever they are, in gathering the exiles and rebuilding of our whole temple, speed our days. Amen.